Good evening and welcome back to Tahoe tonight. One of the hottest topics in Lake Tahoe and the entire nation right now, the flu. And everybody seems to be under the weather in one nature or another was or is contracting it right now. Here to tell us more, Michelle Feeney from Barton Health. And you've got an in-depth knowledge here on what's going on. So give us the rundown and sort of how flu shots affect people and how they come up with those flu shots. You've been telling me some really interesting stuff during the break. So um, I work at Urgent Care. I'm a nurse practitioner with Barton and um, Barton employees. We are all we all get our flu shots, so we want to protect ourselves. So we protect the community as well. Right. Um, and so the flu vaccine is um, helped. Um, to be determined as to which strain we're going to be hit with this year right. um, by what's going on in the southern hemisphere so mm -hmm. they they develop that flu shot in a in a guess basically that yeah. you know what we're going to see there's also mutations that happen too so mm -hmm. that can make it a little difficult to get the exact um, right. the exact oh, well well educated guess it is absolutely yeah, a yeah. well educated guess yeah. so we make uh, we you know the the, <laughs> yeah. the pharmaceutical industry which I guess I'm not technically a part of but you know the medical community so they um, they make up the flu vaccination it's either in a in an injection form or in a mist form mm -hmm. so it's actually a little spritz in your nose yep. um, and so the flu vaccination we like to give it out around September October it takes two weeks to kick in mm -hmm. so when you when you get the shot your body needs to take in that um, dead virus or live attenuated virus and then build up antibodies to help fight and adapt. Um, and yeah. adapt. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so it, would it be too late right now? I mean, Never. you say September, October, no. but... No, because we're, we're right about the peak season right, right. now. So mm -hmm. we've seen, I would say, um, gosh, I would say about 80% of our patients at urgent care and probably I talked to the ER today, they've had about the same. Wow. 80% of the patients coming in are there with flu-like symptoms. Yeah, okay. And so what is one of the most common misconceptions when somebody thinks of the flu shot? They think that they're going to get the flu from the shot. And so what are the possibilities of that? What's the percentage of contracting the flu from after the shot? Zero. Zero. You yeah, that, cannot I mean, get the flu shot from the flu. I mean, you can't the get the flu. The flu <laughs> you can't get the flu, flu from the flu yeah, shot. Yeah, zero percent so, chance. Zero percent I was chance. I was dumbfounded by yeah. that. Yeah, you can maybe get some flu-like symptoms, and but it's not actually the flu, and it's not going to put you out for five to seven days right. or up to two weeks like mm -hmm. with the true flu. Right. So. And then you said even if you do then contract it on that small rare case that you do, then it's going to lessen the symptoms. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Good memory. Yeah. So, so uh, if somebody does come down with the flu, they didn't get their shot, they came down with the flu, what's sort of the process coming into urgent care and dealing with Barton? So um, basically, you know, one thing I wanted to clarify too is the difference between the cold and the flu because I think okay. a lot of people yeah. have a misconception there. So if you've got the sniffles, if you've got a little sore throat, you're still functioning pretty normally. It's not no fevers. It's mostly contained to your head. Mm -hmm. You know, it's probably a cold. But if you start getting a sudden onset of symptoms, fever, sore throat, body aches, probably the flu. Okay. So and so, yeah. you know, coming into our office, you're going to potentially get, um, you know, help us, we'll help you diagnose that by mm -hmm. a rapid flu swab in the nose. And um, we can determine if you've got influenza A, influenza B, Perfect. and then whether you qualify or um, is it necessary to give you the flu. And mask. the phone number for you guys? 775-589-8900. Thank you for coming in, Michelle, and sharing those facts with us and uh, dispelling all those myths <laughs> out there about the flu shot. You're watching Tahoe tonight. We'll be back.